Welcome back to Desk Careers, everybody. I'm so excited to have another amazing guest with us here today. We welcome Victoria Hunt, who is the nurse manager at Moorfields Eye Hospital here in Dubai. Welcome, Victoria. So exciting to have you here. We've met quite a few of your colleagues, but we are just so excited to be talking to a nurse because a lot of our students are considering healthcare careers and nursing is one of those careers that we get asked about quite often. So thank you for being here with us and sharing your journey. Let's start right at the beginning, right when you were a teenager yourself. If you can go back to those times, what do you remember as those academic subjects, if there were any, that grabbed your attention and got you thinking about your future career? So, so for me, Maria, um, I, I had a very close relative that um, passed away as a teenager and, and, and caring, just the subject caring was just something that I was very, very interested in. I've always, always wanted to care for people. So it wasn't particularly an academic subject that I directly chose to get into nursing. Um, it was just more of the vocation vocation side of it rather than the academic side um, even in the in the UK in like your last year of, um, of high school you get given the chance to go and do work experience and my work experience was in, within a hospital um, shadowing another registered nurse. Thank you for bringing up that you remember why you went into care and I think this is something I try to encourage the youth to really consider when we think about our future careers, we don't just have to think about subjects and, and occupations. We really want to connect with the why we want to be doing this. And relating what we do to our life experiences is often the most meaningful pathway. What was the, what was the problem that you remember as a young person thinking, I want to go into healthcare and caring for people because this has really touched me. Yeah, experiencing that as a teenager and, the, and, the, and basically the death of a parent, we, I had a lot of exposure to hospitals. Um, we had a lot of um, nurses visiting our, our home. And it's a very, very personal, personal thing to do and a very rewarding thing to do. And I could see that as a 15-year-old little girl. So, so actually, when I left high school, I became a full-time care assistant. Um, and did that for two years and then and then decided that I wanted to become a registered nurse so so the, that's the, that's the thing about nursing is that it's so varied you can you can if, if you wanted to you could become a box standard nurse and do very basic care with with patients you know hygiene food very very basic or you can go to the other spectrum and become like you know a highly specialist nurse where you've done master's within that subject where you're running your own clinics under the supervision of a doctor. So, so it's very, very varied of why people don't go into to nursing and you can make it as um, career orientated or as, or as, or as well, caring is still um, the main part, the main structure of, of, of nursing, but you can, you, it's just, it's just so varied, you know, chronic disease management, inpatient, outpatient, yeah, so, so, so for me, that was um, definitely something that I wanted to, to do, having that expo exposure as a, as, a, as a teenager. And what do you remember being a student learning to become a nurse that nobody ever told you you would have to prepare yourself for as a student? I think that the, one of the main things that no one teaches you or they, they try to teach you, but it's, it's you know, becoming um, very empathetic towards people. So, you know, it's, it's not being sympathetic, it's being empathetic. So putting yourself in that person's situation can give you a very understanding, a good understanding of how to care for that person. And such a big one when you're dealing with patients. It's, it's coming across as really understanding as opposed to, you know, making the patient feel like, you're almost superior because you're in such an intimate relationship with a, with a patient when they're at their most vulnerable state. It's a, it's a really good point that because of course, you, you know, you, you, throughout your career, you look after so many very different people with so many different personalities. 
you know, you look, you, you care for lawyers, you care for doctors, or you care for people that don't have a job. So your your level of of communication with that patient needs to come to that patient's level as well. So yeah, intuition, um, communication skills, um, being empathetic, being a good advocate. You know, sometimes uh, patients don't want to say what they think, especially to people like doctors, but they'll tell you what they actually really feel, um, that they haven't quite communicated that well to the doctor. And it's just, just you know, personal things like that, really. Talk to us more about that relationship with doctors. How does a nurse and a doctor communicate so that the patient's well-being is put first and ego is put to the side? Yeah, I think that you as an individual, as a nurse, and this was um, very much ingrained um, even through um, nursing school, through doing my nursing training, is that you've, you, you've got the, you have got the right to question everything. You, it's within your right. There's no question that's a stupid question. If you're asking someone who is who is seen as being on such a higher level, um, you you know you should you should still question why people have made those decisions or made those judgments, um, and expect a reasonable answer. A nurse manager. How is that different to being a nurse? So my role is 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 become different because I am now if you like caring for my for staff so um don't get me wrong I do I definitely have patient contact and I, I deal with patients every single day but not on the same level as what the frontline nurses do so I'm there to support them um you know regular meetings, we, we have huddles, we try and keep the line of the communication open, we try and diffuse any issues that we're, we're, we're coming across. Um, you know, as well as, as what, what's not difficult is, even as a nurse, you're managing different personalities, different types of patients from, you know, across all walks of life. You do, you're doing the same with, with, with the nursing team as well. You know, we're all different, we've all, especially in a place like Dubai, you know, English is lots of people's second language. So it's just maintaining that momentum of good communication, being able to say, um, I'm really sorry, but I don't understand you, especially for me, because I've got a Manchester accent, which used to be stronger, Maria, but now it's, um, I've, had to, <laughs> I've had to tone it down slightly. So it's, it's gaining that confidence, um, like, for example, with some of the Filipinas, you know, they feel a bit rude questioning me um, if they've not quite heard me. That's probably now a little bit worse now that you can't lip read you know you've got your verbal communication your non-verbal communication and we're all kind of struggling a bit with that so we, we, we you know it's, it's key, keeping that line of communication open between between all staff what would you say would have been your top three tips from going through your nursing degree working as a, a nurse and now managing as a nurse? Yeah, I think, I think for me, um, one of my top tips is, um, you know, you've got, you've got to go get yourself out there for opportunities. Um, I, I came to Dubai from Manchester in literally within three months of making that decision because of my husband's work. And when I contacted recruiters, um, recruiters um, told me that I didn't have I was a practice nurse back at home, so I did smear tests, chronic disease management. We don't particularly have that out here in Dubai. It's generally physician run rather than nurse led run like it is in the UK. So I was told by three separate recruiters, you're going to struggle to get a job in Dubai. You're probably not going to get one. So I was actually looking at, wow, you know, I don't, I don't particularly want to leave my career, but I thought I'd give it a good, a good, a good shot when I got over here. And, I, and I'm now in the position that I'm in because, you know, um, communicate, communication, communicating with recruiters, meeting with people, putting yourself out there, you know, so definitely put yourself out there for opportunities. I, I keep talking about this, but communication, communicating is, is how you learn. Don't be afraid to ask questions, even if it's stupid questions. We, when we do our training, we're not specialists. So people might do a lot of community-based training and other people might do a lot of hospital-based training. So, you know, there's an assumption that once you qualify, that's it. You've got your registration. You can go and do as you wish. But there's still areas of nursing that you don't know about. Just keep communicating that. Keep asking questions. Keep, keep researching. 
And then my third is um, ne- ne- never forget basic care as a nurse. Mm. You know, e- mm. even if, as a nurse manager, if you need to roll your sleeves up, sleeves, if you need to roll your sleeves up, you, you do it. You, you help people to the toilet. You, you, do, you, you do the basics that we were always taught within the first three years of qualifying. How has your, has your job evolved or changed completely through this pandemic? The basics are still there. The basics are still there. Um, we, you know, it's changed because now we're doing a lot of this, a lot of, lo- a lot of online. Um, and there's a couple of issues with, you know, people's internet connections. And sometimes we used to have nurse meetings where we'd all be together in one room. And now that's not doable because of the risk of, you know, with everything that's going on. So it's, it's kind of, things have become much more online. With you having worked in the UK and now working here, after experiencing recruiters telling you you're going to struggle to find work here because what you did in the UK, you know, doctors are doing that here in the UAE. But now that you're working and you're in that management position, do you see that the nursing profession is very, very different, whether you're in the Middle East or you're living in the UK or maybe for colleagues that might have come from different parts of the world? It, it, it is it is very different. The NHS is government run. Um, so, you know, the, the, cost of, the cost efficiency needs to be taken into account. So, you know, they, they, they did upskill a lot of the nurses to do a lot of things that physicians do in other parts of the world. However, there is scope for good nursing practice out here. You know, there's still um, there's still patients to be cared for. There's still um, you know a lot a lot of our nurses here at here at Moorfields. I mean, one of my senior nurses has been an ophthalmology nurse since 1995. She does she does um, she can you know she knows exactly when she does an assessment before they've got to the doctor. She knows exactly what's going on because she's got that wealth of experience, even though it's not nurse led. I'm not saying that would be nurse led in the UK, but I'm just trying to you know make it comparable there's, there's still scope out here um but it but it is, is completely different to the uk and would you say that nursing <laughs> is a profession looking forward into the future that young people really should be paying more attention to do you see this as a career that is not only fulfilling and rewarding but also so needed in the future my, hugely it's hugely needed and I think that you know it, it's just so varied in what you can do you can you can be as academic as, as you want and do research and um you know work with with you know do masters and you know extensions of, of of your of your specialized role or you can and, and and that's absolutely fantastic and I've got friends that have done that and you know they've done really really well but there's also people as well that are quite happy working in an out, outpatients department or working in the inpatients, you know, helping um, patients take their medications, conversing with doctors, the patient's needs. And that's still a, a really good, um, rewarding job to have, um, you know, being, being very personable, being very personable with somebody. So it's just, it's so varied. If you was a little bit like me at the beginning where you knew you wanted to care for people, you love being with people. Um, you know, you 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 you're great at communicating. It's a good it's a it's a good profession to get into because then you can take your time. You know, and, and let's say you've done ten years in cardiology, for example. You decide that you you know you want to change. You can you can divert into into something different within the within nursing. It's not pigeonholed. It's just such a wide range. What are some of the stereotypes around nursing as a profession? Stereotypes. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm honest. I'm trying. Um, Would you say that it's very gender heavy? So, yeah, that's fair. It's very female orientated. It is. Um, generally speaking, the um, I have I've worked with lots of men, and they was generally more in the more technical um, part. So you know, doing things like 
critical care, high dependency, um, intensive care, um, A and E, or we call it e ER here, emergency. Um, they tend to be. I've worked with more male nurses within those areas rather than other areas of of of, of nursing. Amazing. So much to ask you, Victoria. So much to learn. I know that we have aspiring nurses here with us at the college. And, and as this is also public, I know there will be young people around the world watching this thinking, wow, I, I do want to care. I do have empathy. I want to help people. And nursing is the profession for me. It's so wonderful to hear your experience. And you're working in an eye hospital. How is, that, how is that different in an eye hospital than it would be in an ER or in a hospital where we're predominantly looking at other parts of the body? Yeah, so, so for me, and this is what's um, really interesting about nursing, I haven't got previous ophthalmology experience. I came as a nurse manager, which is non-clinical, so I don't wear a uniform. But, you're, but, you know, all the wealth of experience in, in quality, in infection control, in auditing, in, you know, my, uh, I've worked in an outpatient department and I've worked in critical care. All that wealth of experience that I've brought here, um, you know, caring for people is still caring for people, uh, regardless of which speciality you go for. Thank you so much. And that brings us to the end of another amazing interview. Today we spoke to Victoria Hunt, who is the nurse manager at Moorfields Eye Hospital here in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. For anybody wanting to learn more about Moorfields Eye Hospital, please reach out. You can see below in our credits their website. And that brings us right to the end thank you everybody for watching and i look forward to meeting you all again at our next desk careers digital spotlight